Hi, this is Martha Moody again, and in this lecture we're going to be talking about the multiplication of polynomials. There are several different ways to do so. The first one that we're going to look at is where we're multiplying by a monomial, which means one term. In this instance, what we're going to do is just use the distributive property. So out front we have a monomial, which is A, and inside the parentheses we have other monomials, um, namely B and C in this example. So using the distributive property, we have A times B plus A times C. And if we further expand that, it could be D, E, F, and so on. We can have as many terms inside of the parentheses as we want to, but we'll just continue to use the distributive property. In example one that we have here, we have 4x outside, that's the monomial, and we're going to multiply it by the quantity of x minus 3. Using the distributive property, that's equal to 4x times x plus 4x times negative 3. And when we multiply the 4x times x, we get 4x to the second because each one of those x's has an exponent of 1. The definition of an exponent is that there are two of those, so it's 4x to the second power. We're adding those exponents of 1 plus 1 to give us that 2. And then when we have 4x times negative 3, we take 4 times negative 3 and get negative 12. And then there's only a single x, so it's negative 12x. The way that that is written there is perfectly fine, or we can simplify it and write it as 4x to the second minus 12x. Going on to the second example, where we have 7x times the quantity of x squared minus 3x minus 5. Again, we use the distributive property 7x to the first times x to the second plus 7x to the first again times negative 3x, and then 7x to the first again times negative 5. When we multiply here, we have 7 times 1 is 7, x to the first times x to the second, adding those exponents of 1 and 2 gives us 3. And then going to the next um, two terms where we're multiplying the two monomials there, we have 7 times negative 3 for a negative 21. x to the first times x to the first gives us x to the second. And then our last group that we're multiplying is 7 times negative 5 gives us negative 35 x to the first. Again, we can simplify that, getting rid of the plus and minus signs, just replacing it by a single minus sign, and end up with what you see here of 7x to the third minus 21x to the second minus 35x to the one. Again, either format of those last two lines is exactly the same, and either one is okay. The next example that we're going to look at is 2xy times the quantity of 3x to the second minus 2x minus 1. And again, what we do is take 2xy times each one of those quantities inside the parentheses. Um, and when we do that then and go ahead and do the multiplication, we have 2 times 3 is 6. x to the first times x to the second gives us an x to the third. And there's only a single y, so we end up with 6x to the third y. The next group we have 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4, and x times x gives us x to the second. And again, there's only one y, so our second group is negative 4 x to the second y. And then lastly, we have negative 1 times the 2xy, and we just end up with negative 2xy. Giving us our answer then, again, of 6x to the third y minus 4x to the second y minus 2xy. Um, we have another example, the fourth example here. I'll let you go ahead and you can pause it and take a look at it. But again, we're doing the same exact thing, taking the 2x times each one of those three terms inside the parentheses. The next example, x um, example 5, is a little bit more complicated because it has um, several things here with um, inside this um, square bracket grouping and inside the parentheses grouping. So what we need to do is go ahead and work from inside out. So inside the parentheses where we have x plus y, we can't make that any simpler since we don't know what x and y are. But we will go ahead and we will multiply it by the negative 4 because that's outside and the multiplication of the 4 times that group is more important than the z minus 4 subtraction. So we're going to multiply by that minus 4 and inside the square brackets we have z minus 4x minus 4y. Now what we have to do is multiply all of that group by the 2 that's on the outside. 
and that gives us on the third line there the 2z minus 8x minus 8y and then we have um, the 3 that it's added to and we're going to multiply each one of those two terms by the minus 2 so minus 2 times 3 is negative 6 negative 2 times the 2z is negative 4z negative 2 times negative 8x is positive 16x and negative 2 times negative 8y is 16 um, 16y. Going on to the next page, we have another example that's very similar um, where we have the 2 highlighted here. We're going to take 2 times the quantity of x minus 3. On the second line there, you can see that that gives us the 2x minus the 6. Then what we're going to do is on the second line where we have the x plus the 2x because those are the like terms, we're going to combine those and on the third line you can see that all we've done inside of the square brackets is combine the x plus 2x to give us 3x minus the 6. Then outside we have a negative and that's as if it was plus or minus 1. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the square bracket, square bracket grouping right there and um, get rid of the square brackets and that will give us minus 3x plus 6. Again, we can see there on the fifth line where you have 2x minus 3x, those are like terms. We're going to combine those on line 6 to give us negative x or negative 1x. So we now have the negative 3 on the outside. We can multiply it by the minus 1x to give us 3x and the negative 3 times the 6 to give us negative 18. As always, if you need to go ahead and pause a little bit, you can pause and take a look at it. Um, and just remember as we've gone through all this that when you are multiplying variables with the same base, the same letter, you add those exponents as we did in each one of those examples above. And the second way of multiplication, what we're going to look at is um, something that's very similar and um, to what you've already done before and probably learned it in about the third grade, which is um, multiplication of more than numbers with more than one digits. So what I'd like you to do is take a piece of paper, pause the video, and multiply by hand 231 times 123. Um, please don't use a calculator on this one. Um, I want to do this for a reason. So do that multiplication, pause the video, and then we'll go ahead. As you look at this, taking 231 times 123, we take the 3 of the 123 and we multiply it by each one of those digits on the top row. So 3 times 1 was 3, 3 times 3 was 9, and 3 times 2 was 6. That was the first row. Then what we do with long multiplication is we go to the next digit, which in this case is the 2, and we multiply it by that, by each one on the up, upper row. Um, I put a 0 on my second row. Some of you may have a 0 there or leave it blank. doesn't really matter how you like to do it. Um, I usually put zeros there. And then on the third line that we see there, we're taking 231 times the 1 of the 123, which gives us the 231. So what we've done is we've taken each of those three terms times the other three terms. That was nine multiplications that we had to do. And when we did each of those nine multiplications, then what we did was draw our line and we added. So your answer that you should have gotten was 28,413. So again, you had three digits times three digits, nine multiplications. After you did those, you drew your line and then you added. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and um, continue it on the next one where we're going to go ahead and take a look at, instead of using numbers for this, we're going to make, turn this into using polynomials. So I will catch up with you on the next video.